yeah what's good guys how you guys doing this is Drex beat how are you guys doing now i hope you guys are okay i hope you guys are fine and i hope you guys are having a great week um this is another weekend and i'm right here again to show you guys put you guys through another tutorial video and i hope you guys are ready to learn something today all right so what i have today right now for you guys is basically um a song of mine so recently i dropped a new ep african segway it's on all digital platforms so i will attach the link of the ep the link to the ep to the description below so you guys can like check out the new project you can check out the new song can check out the new fires i have in my ep i'm pretty sure you like them i'm pretty sure so the video i have for you guys today is basically i have a tutorial video on how i ended up on a particular song on the ep titled no leave me which is the track one from the ep no leave me featuring one of my fr uh, one of my friend uh, a, a vocalist crazy vocalist he won the access star show they did uh, earlier this year his name is Lovain. so he did the vocal for me after which i cook up the beats and then the outcome was mad so i'll play you what the song looks like right now i'll play you basically just the beat then if you want to listen to the full song you can go to my to the link in the description and check out the song so let me play this, the beat for you guys so you guys can check out what the content is like all right <laughs> Okay, so that's just 30 seconds of the beats right there um you'll be hearing a little bit of guitar on the song so the guitar was played by a friend of mine also annie guitar annie guitar so i will attach his um, instagram and the page so you guys can check him out also and i also attach him um, lovens um, instagram and so you guys can check him out mind you this song was produced by me mixed by me and mastered by me the old song on the ep was produced by me so let's head straight to how i ended up on this mad beat so the first thing i did first was the drum yeah so the drum is basically the first thing i did on the beat so i will show you guys what i did on the drum and then i will show you how i ended up about it so this is basically what i did was i used a rim shot which is i think it's panned or something and also so what i did was the arrangement goes this way you know the style and i already showed you how to make a drum like this in one of my tutorial videos if you check my page on youtube you will see alphabet drums different types of alphabet drums i've showed you part some some of this in the past so you, you can see some of them and i'm pretty sure i've showed you this one before how to make something like this so what i did was i arranged it this way and then at the end of the day we had something like this it's basically percussions though so when you listen so you can hear that and then i added one loop from vesh beats i think i got this loop from vesh beats yeah i got this loop from vesh beats in order to, just, in order to make the drum sound in order for the drum to sound crazy so i just added that to it and then when you listen to that together i think it gives you something like this mm. then my kick instead of the normal dancer setting i think i started with something like this with the kick the arrangement so when you listen okay so then the next thing i did was there was this loop that i created this is the loop so i used the plugin the plugin purity i'm sure most, most of you have this loop it's almost all the producer in nigeria i know that i have this loop and this particular plugin so i used a sample 
uh, a, I don't know what I'll call it, a preset muted guitar. You find it under GM normal preset muted guitar. So I think the the key I was working on on the song was what was the key again? Let me look for. So A sharp minor, which is also B flat minor. So my loops my first loop was this my first loop was this so it goes like this you see no matter if you feel out no matter you can look at it very well so so when you play with the drum See how crazy that is. Then the next thing I added was let me see what I added again. So I added something a different loop again. So in this case, now I'm using morphine. You can see I'm basically using like plugins that are not like that spectacular, but at the end of the day, it's something that when you try like tweak and mix and all this stuff, you get a crazy sound. I think I actually mix this one a little, I don't know, but that's the story for another day mixing is a story for another day so the next loop i did was this so i use morphine this preset right here prc fairy fg i think you see it under percussion or something like that yeah percussion prc fairy fg yeah this this is it so when you listen to it it's basically the same thing. I only use that sound just to like complement the other one. So just to complement this one. So it's basically the same sound. So when I play. So the next thing I did, the next MIDI sound I made was this. Okay, I think I actually muted this one. I think I ended up using Purity. Karimba on that bell and pack. <laughs> so what I did was I just added this sound right here. Boom 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 something like that, yeah. So when you play it like it gives you that so when you listen to this so that's how the Kaimba sounds. So when you play. It's a chord though. If you look at it very well, it's a chord. Play that in form of chord. Then reduce the release. I don't want it too long. I just want it. Boom, boom. I don't want it. Boom, boom. You understand? So I just want it quick. So you can see it's just basically not doing too much of work. The next thing I had to previous in again. So I did this weasel sound. Winter weasel from purity. I did this weasel sound. So I created a different loop again. This is the loop. You can see that. Let's look at it again. So when you listen to that with the drum and the first loop and the second one. So Let's continue from there. Another loop I did was, I know you probably be thinking, why are all these amount? I just want the beats to just be something different. So this loop I use uh, plugin from Citrus, um, plugin from FL. 
Citrus. The name of the plugin is Citrus. So this is the plugin. So I use the preset F Marimba. I think you can find that under. I can't remember. I actually saw this, but I think it's under X Nucleon. So I think I saw it around here. Yeah, this is it under synth under the category X Nucleon. So you find F Marimba. So that one goes this way. So I did a I did a loop. Something not too much stress, not too much stress, so just something easy. You can see that very well. So when you play yeah so the next thing i did um the next thing i did is actually a chord well i think this chord i think i was i used um omnisphere to create this chord so basically i can't remember actually i think this should be it yeah this is the chord right here so i used omnisphere to create the chord where, is, where are you so but basically because omnisphere is too heavy so i can't leave it there so i have to consolidate the the plugin so i have to consolidate the omnisphere and then um to an audio file so it sounds like this when you listen to it So when you play the chord with what we have left so when you play the chord what we have left this is it this is what it sounds what we have done before that's basically it yes so i think uh, then i added some extra sounds this is basically basically the same thing with the with this sound so just a different plugin nexus i think i showed you this one before yeah i just just a compliment to the first sound of this one yeah so I did some freestyle with the plugin purity on that woodwind actor and all so I did I just did a basic freestyle I think from here when you listen so when you listen to that So that's basically most part of the drum. Then I added some extra loops that I got from Simatix sounds. So I got some of some of this loop I'm about to play from Simatix. I don't know if you know Simatix, the uh, a group of like production units also. So they, they make loops and stuff. So I added this vocal loop. So when you listen with the beat. Then the bass. I actually got the bass also from Simatics. So I didn't want to like stress myself and be creating bass from but it's something I can actually do, but I just prefer sound is so that's the bass right there 
So when you hear that with the beat. Some extra sounds like this one, and the roll in them. I don't think I actually know the most of this, but let me show you what the rolling is. Rolling are just basically cut, 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 cut. <laughs> the second one is actually cut different. And that one again, okay, it's the same. And some flute sound from Kashmir on this side. Yeah, that sound. If you don't want to waste too much of your time producing and getting, just go to like splice get different sounds from splice you get crazy sound from splice i actually got this sound from splice from kashmir so you can get <laughs> so you can basically get this sound from splice so then there is the guitar the guitar the guitar the guitar so Annie, where is the guitar sound? Ah, come on, where's the guitar? Where's the guitar? Be like this. Okay. So Annie, a friend of mine played guitar on the song. So with the guitar, I'll play it with the guitar right now, so you can listen to it. <laughs> seem not to be the guitar okay this is the guitar right here so with the guitar you hear something like this I didn't really do much on this but the main thing that killed this song that made this song crazy was actually the instrumentation and then the vocal so i think annie did a great job and also loven did a great job on the song and i actually also i did a great job on the song also so let me you know now I praise myself but i think if you can do justice to this if you can do justice to like a remake if you want to make a remake to this i can actually send you the flp all you have to do is send me an email or or a comment so once, once i see your comment i'll be able to like reply to it and then so if you think you can do something to the song like a remake or a refix or a remix or stuff like that i'll be able to send you the flp so you can go to the file and then you know what you have to do all right so i hope you, you've been able to like enjoy at or at least learn something from this video and then please check out my ep 
I will attach the link again to the description so you can check out the EP and check out the songs in it. And I hope you enjoy them. And also be glad, I'll be glad if you can share some of them out to your friends, family, fans, and people around you. Thank you very much for that. So, and also don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. I need subscriptions. I need you guys. So I'll be able to make more tutorial videos and be inspired to do more. You understand? So, have a nice day.